Fastlane. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the trigger clip mode on the Push Hacker. Hi, I'm Freddy Frogs, certified Ableton trainer. In the previous tutorials, I showed you how to use the toggle momentary on and off select track and solo button. It's now time to use the trigger clip mode on Push Hacker. So let's select the trigger clip and select, first of all, a feature on Push we'd like to use, for example, this pad on the Matrix. So this mode has two modes. It's got mode one and mode two. Let's show the mode one first. In mode one, if I select a clip slot, an empty clip slot, or maybe a clip itself, I can then hit the set selected clip slot to assign this clip or this clip slot to the button on my push. The behavior is like that. If I hit the button on push, it starts the clip. And if I hit again, it starts the clip again from the beginning, like if it was re-triggered basically. And if I hit and hold the pad on the matrix, it will stop the clip. In the second mode, slightly different, um, let's say I'm going to use a MIDI channel for that. Okay, so in this mode, I can select a specific clip or even a clip slot, an empty clip slot, and hit the set selected clip slot button. That's it, it's been assigned. The behavior is different this time. When I hit the button, it will start recording. And if I hit the button again, it stops the recording and plays it. And if I keep holding the button, it will delete the clip. So I can do that again, it starts recording, then stops recording and play, and then deletes the clip and ready for the next recording. This is very convenient for live looping of audio or MIDI clips.